What is up guys, welcome back to another AB video and today we're going to be showing you the matches from our semi-finals in the AB tournament. And remember that this tournament is from our clubs and community, so if you want to participate, remember to join our Discord, which will be in the link down below in the comment section or the description, so make sure to look at that. But I don't want to bore you guys and I want to get right into these epic, epic matches between four teams and yeah, let's see who came out on top. So for the first matchup, we have Scepter, Maho, and General CTO versus Conceal, Hypentity, and Cheese Burglar. The right team has an average of 2100 and an average EXP of 158. And the other team with an average of 16,800 and an EXP level of 117. Sorry. So uh, let's see if they can get it done, and I'm going to be showing you guys 4 out of 5 matches, so let's get right into it. So for the first match, it is 1 out of 5. The bands were Jackie and Rosa. So it looks like Hype is going to be running M's, Conceal running Frank, Cheese running Barley, Captain or CTO running Sandy, Maho running Tick, and Obito who is currently subbing for um, Scepter is running Penny. So looks like blue team going to be getting the first bolt. Let's see how they are going to do. They are going to end up winning this siege. So Hype going to be pushing back Obito, almost taking out the Penny there. But the turret is also there so it's going to explode. But look at this. Blue team fully ready to go on offense. Very high damaging brawlers. Looks like Cheese is going to be running Barley, doing a ton of damage. Look at that 50%, 70%. And look at that. They are actually going to run down and destroy the Ike. That was insane. But let, let's keep going, I guess. So now we are moving on to set three of five and or match three of five and the bands were jackie and piper i think or ems and piper i'm not exactly sure i think it was jackie though but looks like cheese fairly low and conceal is also going to pick up that star but cheese is going down so oh but dylan or conceal is going to be getting the kill on on cto so looks like the picks were gene penny and brock versus Mr. P, Carl, and uh, another Brock. So it is 5 to 4 for red team, but Cheese is going to be getting the kill. Now it is 7 to 5. So Penny Turret also going to be going down. Hype does have that uh, star power, and he's going to be able to take out Scepter right there. And very interesting. Now the blue team has an 11 to 5 lead. Very solid. Mr. P's uh, Porter going in to torment the blue team a bit. But Cheese hopping in with the gadget, going to be able to take out Scepter, but he's also going to go down. And looks like CTO is fairly low. He's going to have to watch that because he's about to get down. Yep, he's going to get taken down there. But looks like Maho's getting taken down. Can the blue team team wipe? Not quite able to team wipe. But looks like Scepter throwing down that super to survive. Conceal also going to throw down that turret. And the Porter uh, minion penguin thing, whatever you want to call it, is going to do some work. But looks like Cheese is also going to get taken out. So now it is tied up. Very impressive by the red team. Red team getting another kill. Look at that. Now the blue team is down. Can Cheese get the kill on the Mr. P? Going to miss the shot. That's not, not looking good for the blue team. Red team with a comeback. Cheese is going to be hopping, but he is going down. The red team has a five star advantage. Insane comeback by them. Very unexpected turn of events. And it looks like Cheese in desperation trying to go for the Mr. P. Not going to be able to work though. Hype has pull. He has to back up though because he's too low. Conceal with the turret, but it's not going to be enough. He's trying to go in himself. Going to get taken out. But oh, look at that. Cheese with the kill. Cheese with another kill. Oh, very close. Two points. But let's let's keep this up. This isn't going great. So we're going to be moving on to the very next match. It is four of five. Pretty much the same thing as last time, except now there is a Mortis. Cheese is going Mortis. Going to be able to take out Maho for a very early kill. And now the blue team has a 3 to 0 advantage. They have to win this to survive. Do or die, as they call it. And it looks like... Conceal able to get a good amount of shots off on the other penny, but now he's going in on Captain Conceal getting around the map, doing a lot of work. And it looks like Scepter is going in. He's playing Brock. He is fairly low, but she is going to be able to take him out. Going for the Mr. P now. Mr. P at 7 HP. That's crazy. And he is going to survive. He did place that turret in desperation. And looks like Scepter also going to be able to take out High Pentity. And she's going in for the Brock, but Brock is going to gadget away. And that Porter, so, so annoying. And it looks like High Pentity does have super here, so he's going to have to make something happen. 
It's a very close game. Currently, the red team is leading by one. But, ooh, hype with the insane pull. Going to get those four extra stars. They really needed that. And now, looks like Conceal going to face off against Mr. B. is going to go down. The captain CTO's little brother going in with insane plays. And now he's going to... Uh, Mao is going to place his extra turret there and going to trigger the gadget twice in a or star power twice in a row hype going to be using that gadget as well just to heal up cheese a bit so he doesn't die and blue team has to hold on there four they're in the lead by four stars and looks like cto or general cto and yeah so that's actually his little brother as i was saying earlier and but she's going in on general cto look at that can he get the kill? Not quite, but looks like Hype is going to pull the penny in very, very low. Really risky move there, but Conceal going in, going ham on everyone, getting the double kill, but falling down. And then she is going to be able to take out the Mr. B. So that is, they are going to take home that match and it is tied up two to two. And let's see this insane, exciting finish. So guys, we are in the last match, five of five current score. You guys know it, two to two. And the bands were M's and uh, Jean, so Cheese is going to have to run Bo as mid and Maho's running Poco. But really early, it looks like Hype's going to be getting the kill on Scepter. So now the blue team has a two-player advantage. CTO going to be using that gadget to his advantage, and he is going in on the Rosa. Going to be able to take him out with the help of his teammates. And General does, does have his super now, and Cheese using that gadget to his advantage as well. Just charging up his super slowly. Really good gadget, I like that one. But the bow mines are in mid, so Maho, oh yep, Maho's getting stunned there, and Cheese is going to be able to win his lane. Speaking of lanes, you guys should check out my lane video, you know, just, all right, yeah, I'll stop, but uh, I'll continue. <laughs> anyway, CTO does have a pole there, but he's going to use it in desperation to survive, and Maho taking the left lane with General to survive, but look at that absolute domination by the blue team. Nine to zero, or eight to zero gems. Now it's nine to zero, and Looks like Hype's also going in on General. 9 to 0, 10 to 0, they have countdown now. And look at that, Scepter is going in on Cheese, but it's not going to be enough. He had to fall back. And they have 10 seconds. The red team has 10 seconds to make something happen. But Maho, very low, he has to use his heal. And Cheese, oh, Cheese just got pulled. And look at that, he's so low health. That was a crazy finish. And wow, let's just, yeah, okay, let's move on to the next matchup, I guess. So guys, now we have the second matchup. It is Duck, Azure, Dank Rhythm versus Dig, Captain, and Ryan X. Duck's team has an average of 20,600 trophies and an average EXP of 197, while the other team has an average of 20,300 and an average of EXP 181. So really, really close matchup, and it's going to be really exciting to see it. So uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see who's going to come on top. So for this one, I wanted to once again show you the first match here. The bands were Rosa and Penny, and Azur is running BB. As you guys know, BB really, really strong here. Has an insane movement speed now, and Duck is playing M's. Dank running Tick, Ryan running Sandy, Snapple running M's, and I believe their third is a... I'm not sure who it is. It is... Okay, it's the real captain with Barley, but looks like Blue Team's going to be winning this first siege. Are they going to... Uh, one push this like the last time we saw that happen earlier but captain with that insane slow as barley going to be able to slow down the bot and they're going to survive the siege i mean that's pretty common but that is in fact the real captain not his brother but snapple is also here to substitute i believe for dig but i think dig is going to make an appearance uh in a bit in a few minutes so Looks like Azur is also going for that bolt. They're going to be knocking back the real captain, taking him out, and Snapple joining in to do a ton of damage onto Azur. So Snapple does also have super as M's. Duck is spinning a bit, a bit too cocky, you know. But that is him, and he always spins, especially with Snapple. That happens a ton of friendly games, but I'm getting sidetracked, and it looks like the blue team's going to get a 9 ball tier, and unless the red team has some type of secret mechanism, I don't think they're going to be able to defend this. So, yeah, look at that. Blue team is going to pick up the first game in this set. And let's let's keep this rolling. It's been a great day. All right, guys. So we I wanted to skip two matches so that we could go right to four and five. So I'll show you guys four out of five. And this is the fourth match. Um, I believe we also had to uh, redo a game because three people lagged in one of the matches. So I think this is the redo. The bands were actually Brock and Piper. Dank running Tick. Ryan running Tick as well. And... The only difference here is Gene and Mr. P. Captain running Mr. P. I'm starting to think he's his little brother because they seem to only know how to play Mr. P. 
but <laughs> looks like Ryan is going in there with Tick. Dank gonna be pressuring a bit, but has to go back. And Duck very, very low. Is he going to get taken out? Not quite, but the blue team playing very aggressive with the lead. Taking control of the middle area, forcing the red team back into their own base. And Mr. P going to be pressuring Dank a bit. I think Captain's lagging a bit there, but yeah. So Mr. P is also going to buff his turret or porter, whatever you want to call it. And Duck is going to trigger his gadget. And I forgot to mention that Dig is actually here. I do forget to mention Dig a lot, so I will need some reminders there. But Duck is going to hit that Porter turret, and the Aftermath is going to hit Dig there. And Dig and Duck going head on head on, as on Penny. And looks like the red team has taken back control with the kill. And the Mr. P Porter is going in. We're gonna see if they can continue this. And Azur going really aggressive. He is out there alone. Going to get taken out by the red team. They have built on their lead. 30 seconds left, up by three. Can the red can the blue team get a kill to tie it up? And it looks like Azur once again going in. Can he pull the Mr. P? Is he going to Bruh. What was that? Did he just pull the porter? Okay, so apparently Azur knows something we don't. But uh looks like they're going to continue to try to get the lead. Azur with the pro plays and looks like red team is going to continue their domination complete domination by them props to them they have tied it up and now we are going into another game five and for this game five we have gene and piper it is match five of five set to current score you guys know it two to two and looks like dank gonna be using that star power barely surviving but then he is gonna get taken out by captain and looks like duck is running mid azur is running jesse very interesting pick. I didn't think Jesse would be a good option here, but apparently it is. And I think that the red team has a slightly better comp. And looks like mid is fairly equal here, but the red team, Ryan is going to jump back because Dank did get a bit too close. So looks like Captain's going to continue mid here. And Duck getting quite low. I don't know where his teammates are, but he does have turret. So he's going to be throwing his turret there. Dank's going to be taking the healing. Crow is going to jump away, but going to get taken out by Azur there. And Azur, hopefully he makes some more pro plays like last time. <laughs> but looks like Duck is going to be pressuring. The, bl the blue team has a lead of 7-2. to two, So looking very good for the blue team right now. And they weren't able to clinch it last time. But maybe they can do it this time and move on to the finals. But it's 9-2. to two. The red team getting cornered by Dank. Dank doing a ton of damage. And Azur also going to throw his turret in there. And... Looks like it's going to get taken out, but it doesn't matter because the they do have countdown and they have 10 seconds. If the red team can't cancel this, then the blue team, Duck, Azur, and Dank is going to go in. But Dig, or Ryan, sorry, going to jump in. Three seconds left, two seconds left. The healing is too much. And look at that. They're going to go on to the finale. It's been it's been a roller coaster, but let's let's take a look at these brackets now. Unfortunately guys, that's pretty much all I have for you and I really hope you enjoyed it But and the next tournament remember that it is going to be coming very soon So make sure that you join our discord and I guarantee you that I will help you find a team if you join it And if you ask me though for now, that's all I got and props to the winners I guess and remember to like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys later